Hello friends, today I bring you the Crypt Pool Guide. I plan on releasing informative videos more often in the future, so stay tuned. The main tip for Crypt, regardless of class, is watching the backstabbers, and once they're done with their animation, you can knock down them, so they stop jumping around again. For the first pool, we're body pulling the first three mobs and taking them into the pack on the left, placing red orb like so. Nothing really specific here, other than focusing on back attacks once you've put down the red orb. Once you've killed most of the mobs, you can move on to the next pool. If you have some high HP backstabbers left, it's usually not worth it to finish them off, or just going straight into the next pool, even if they reset. For the second one, we will have a double pool, the small pack with the elite bear and the big one to the left. The bear's first attack is always going to be the forward roll, regardless of how you pull him. So we want to bait his forward roll into the pack on the left like so, and focus him down so that he respawns in time for the next rotation. This pull might be a bit scary at night time or lower gear, so you can just use PA once the bear has turned to roll into the pack. Once you dispatch of the pool, you double TP past the mobs on the left here and pull this pack. When you come back, place your door black so. It's done this way because the previous pack has wizards, which are usually really really slow to pull and follow you. So you have to wait a long time for them to come if you do this the other way around. Nothing interesting in this pool. Watch your back for backstabbers and just finish it off. Next pool is also pretty straightforward. Pull this smaller pack into the next big one and put a red orb anywhere. Position doesn't really matter here, just make sure you have access to back attacks. Best place for red orb would be to pull it from the side you came from, so that when the pulled mobs come, they are all stuck nicely. This next pool is optional. And if you're doing less than 23 to 24k yellow or 17k blue, I would suggest skipping it. This pool is only here to stop me from overclearing, so if you aren't overclearing without it, there is no reason to do it as well. Red orb is not needed here, because it's a very low amount of mobs. For the last pool in the big room, you just take these mobs near the wall and pull them into the middle pack, and put the red orb anywhere. Watch the backstabbers again and finish off the pack. The small room pools are pretty straightforward too. We body pull the closed left pack into the far left and put the red orb like so. Be careful with positioning so that you don't pull the mobs from the right pack once the current ones start dying. That would mess up the next pool quite a bit. Once you're mostly done with the pool, you can pull this back. It can be either done with a spell that doesn't CC mobs or just body pulling. This pull is also pretty straightforward. Finish it off and to the start we go. Anyways, that's it for now. Good luck with your devils and see you in the next one.